Welcome to this MedSafe user training video, which will be very brief, concise, and show you how to use MedSafe from a student's perspective. Start by going to the dedicated web address, which is ilearn.kineoportal.com.au. Note that there's no www in front of that. And then enter your username and password. Your username is generally going to be your student number. Your password for your first login will be password1 with a capital P, everything else lowercase, no spaces. Hit login. And if it's the first time you're logging in, it's telling you to change your password, which you must do. Now, to do that, make sure you use at least one capital letter, uh, at least one digit, and at least one lowercase letter. And the password must be six characters long at least. And now that you've changed your password, you get into the program and you'll use that new password for all subsequent logins. When you log in, you can click My Training and you'll arrive at the Medication Safety folder. Click on that and then you'll see MedSafe as an option. Click on that again. This will then take you to the MedSafe interface. Now, you'll notice from the interface there are two icons. There's a practice icon and an assessments icon. Really important to know the difference. If you're doing work, during the semester, so this is leading up to your uh, end of semester assessment, we strongly recommend you go into the practice interface. The assessments can be clicked on at the end of the semester or the end of the year when your lecturer or teacher specifically tells you that you need to click, uh, complete an assessment. So the objective is to go into practice uh, as much as you like. There's no restriction on how many times you can log in or access the practice interface. When you click on practice, you'll notice four key areas pop up below. Maths for clinicians, medication rights, medication calculations, and clinical case studies. Now, your teacher or lecturer will tell you what specific areas you need to complete. When you click on each of them, you'll notice more categories or, or subcategories pop up below, as you can see. You don't necessarily need to complete all of them. So please say, take some direction from your teachers who will tell you what specific areas you do need to complete. So for example, if your teacher tells you that you need to go into maths for clinicians and then the metric system, you'll notice the metric system icon under maths for clinicians, you would click on that. And then you'll notice a table of contents that gives you more information about the topics contained in the metric system. So your teacher might tell you to do conversions between mils and liters, converting between micrograms, milligrams, grams and kilograms, and converting between millimeters, centimeters and meters. You just click on the topics that you want to include and you'll notice the blue lights on the left illuminate to show that those topics have been selected. Then all you need to do is click on Start Practicing in the bottom right, and as you can see here, MedSafe will create random questions for you to practice from only those selected topics. So you can see in the top here it says converting between mils and liters. Uh, the instructions are given to you in the middle of the screen convert the quantity shown below from liters to mils, go to access learning materials, writing numbers for requirements about writing the answer correctly. Uh, well, you have to read the instructions carefully and then a question appears below. 1.975 liters, how many mils? And what we do here is we just type in the answer we think is correct for that particular problem and we press check answer. If it's correct, it tells us we're correct, and then we can click the Try Another Question button, which will then load the next question we selected to practice from that table of contents, which in this case was a conversion between micrograms, milligrams, grams, and kilograms, as shown at the top. And you can see here, uh, another question appears in front of us, 2.1 grams, how many milligrams? That's 2,100 milligrams, correct. Try another question, and now the third uh, topic we elected to practice was conversion between millimetres, centimetres, and metres. 60 millimetres, how many centimetres? Six, correct, and so on. Now, when we get to the end of the topics we elected to practice and we click try another question, 
you'll notice that it loops back to the very first topic that we wanted to do, which was a conversion between mils and liters. So MedSafe will just generate uh, many, many thousands of different questions, and you can sit here for as long as you like, just practicing and developing your skills as much as you like. Now, a couple of really important features I want to show you. If you get the question wrong for whatever reason, so 2,300 mils, 23 liters, incorrect, it gives you a few options, each of which is reasonably self-explanatory. Try again, if you click on that, it lets you have another shot at the question. You may know what you did wrong and wanna have another attempt. But if you still get it wrong, you can click on show answer and this will put uh, in the answer box the correct answer, allowing you to see what the correct answer for that particular question is. Another really, really crucial feature that is very, very valuable to students is the learning materials, or are the learning materials. You'll notice here that uh, we've got a conversion 2.9 grams to milligrams. Let's say that you're not sure how you need to complete this problem. You have absolutely no idea. What you can do is click on access learning materials at the top here. There's a little hyperlink there or below the check answer bot button, there's another hyperlink. So if we click on that, this takes us to a repository of learning information for that particular question in video format. You'll notice all the little icons and also PDF format. And you're able to access those resources as much as you want, just by clicking on them, then clicking play, and it will stream in a YouTube video with visuals and audio. I'm just muting the audio so you can hear me now. But as you can see, each of these videos is usually between about one and a half and four minutes in length and it goes through the mathematical process step by step. So it's not different to having your lecturer explain this to you. So you can watch these videos as much as you want to really learn the basic skills that you need. If you don't wanna watch a video, you can click on one of these little PDF uh, thumbnails. And what that will do is that will uh, show a PDF document, an electronic textbook if you like, that goes through all those basic mathematical concepts as well. So you have access to some really useful learning materials that we uh, keep up to date with best practice guidelines as well. Those learning materials are available for every single question in MedSafe. You can go back to the main menu at any time by clicking in that bottom left corner. You can go back to practice and you can go into any other area that you want that your teacher might specifically tell you to go into. So we cover the maths very comprehensively we also have a category called medication rights, which covers the rights of medication administration that you can go into. Your lecturer might ask you to go into those areas, or you can go into medication calculations, the orange uh, icon, and go into tablets and capsules, liquids, injections, infusions, or pediatric doses. So if your teacher, for instance, tells you to go into calculations and injections, you would, you would click on calculations and then injections, and again, you would click start practicing. And here you can see that you're given a medication order. Benztropine, IM, 1.5 milligrams to be given stat, signed by the prescribing officer with a prescribing officer's name. Just be vigilant, in the bottom left corner you can see a thumbnail. Just click on that thumbnail and that will tell you what the concentration of the medication is. Here we have one milligram and one mil. We've got to give 1.5 milligrams. Now, you'll notice the next task button in blue at the bottom, and in the top left corner, you can see it says task one of two. Uh, so this takes us to the next task, which is task two of two, and the instructions at the top of the screen specifically tell us what we need to do. Review the medication order and strength of medication and draw up the exact volume of medication to administer as an injection IM. If you left click on the plunger and move it left uh, or right, you can put the position, uh, sorry, you can put the plunger into any position that you want to put it into. Now, looking back at our order, we're going to, we need to give 1.5 milligrams. Strength of medication, one milligram in one mil, that's 1.5 mils, that's a correct answer. And that's 1.5 mils there. So we can then submit our answer correct. And again, we can click try another question and this will load another question at random from our database of injections questions. 
if we wanted to go into a tablets question, uh, if our teacher asked us to complete tablets, we would go back to the main menu, uh, click on practice, calculations if they've asked us to do calculations, tablets and capsules, start practicing, and you can see here um, we've got the, the, same, the same calculation requirement, but this time doing a tablets problem. So we have flucloxacillin, 250 milligrams, PO, we've got the indication pharmacy comment and so on here. Hovering over the uh, box of tablets, looking at the back of the blister pack, which ident helps us identify the medicine uh, more safely than looking at the box itself. Flucloxacillin, 250 milligrams. Uh, so we know we're going to give one tablet because the strength of each tablet is 250. The patient's ordered 250. Click on next task and you can just left click the capsule, sorry, rather than the tablet into that blue box, let go and the capsules will fall into the, into the cup to give to the patient. Now, if we get it wrong for whatever reason, uh, show answer will give us a feedback box showing us the correct feedback for that particular problem. Now again, if you can't do this calculation, uh, access learning materials is available. Click on that, watch one of our uh, videos. Again, I'll just mute that. This goes through the full process showing the co correct formula, where to look on the medication order to get the values and how to then do the, the simplification of the fraction to arrive at the answer. And if you don't want to watch a video, you can click on the PDF. And again, you can see the formula there um, with lots of fully worked examples that show you the correct process. So, so bear in mind, the resources are available. The other really, really important feature I want to show you is the scorecard. Now, if we go to the very bottom of the screen, you'll notice along this black bar at the bottom, it says total score, four out of seven. That means we've got four questions correct out of a total of seven attempts. We have a reset button, and then we also can click on scorecard. And if you click on scorecard, this will have your name at the top, it will have today's date, it will have that total score, four out of seven, but very, very importantly, it will actually have a breakdown of your score in every single question that you've attempted since you last reset the scorecard. So for example, from medication calculations, injections, right dose, I've got one correct out of one attempt. Tablets and capsules, I've got zero correct out of one attempt. Under the maths for clinicians topic, the metric system, converting between micrograms, milligrams, grams, and kilograms, one correct out of one attempt, and so on. As I keep doing questions in MedSafe, this scorecard will, will keep a running total of my score across all of the topics that I've practiced. Now your lecturer will likely ask for a copy of this scorecard. In order to give them a copy, just click on the Save PDF button there, and what this will do is this will download a copy of your scorecard to your computer and you can then follow the instructions your lecturer has given you to provide that scorecard to them. So they might ask you to upload it to a Dropbox or to email it to them. But what this scorecard will do is let your lecturer know how you're progressing across MedSafe, how many questions you've done, what areas of weakness you have and so forth. It's also an excellent tool for you self-identifying what areas you may want to practice more in your own time. I'll just close that scorecard, close this, and I can go back uh, to any question that I want to via the main menu. I won't go through every question of MedSafe. They all work in a very, very similar fashion. Uh, we have thousands of practice questions. We have learning materials for each and every topic that I showed you how you can access. So it's really a case of following the instructions that your teacher has supplied to you and completing questions from the relevant topics and then submitting your scorecard. Now, at the end of the semester or the end of the year, or perhaps at another time that your lecturer advises, they might ask you to complete one of the summative assessments built into MedSafe. So again, you're only ac accessing this assessments icon specifically when your teacher tells you to. Don't jump into them early. Um, stick to the practice first. When you need to do an assessment, you'll have to follow the instructions the, the teacher gives you as to which of the assessments you need to complete. There are 46 different assessments built into MedSafe and your requirements may only be one or two or three of those 46 assessments. When you complete the summative assessment, 
if you achieve 100%, you'll be able to download an electronic certificate that has your name on it, that has CPD points on it, and that will evidence to your teacher that you've actually completed the requirements within MedSafe. The questions are randomised each and every time, so the assessments are always different. You can't memorise answers. However, please bear in mind that if you use MedSafe during the semester, if you practice all the questions that are built in, you'll have exactly the same look and feel in your summative assessment. So you'll be giving yourself the best opportunity to pass the assessment if you can practice with MedSafe as much as possible leading up to that assessment. That'll give you the best opportunity to pass the assessment. Remember, you can log in as much as you want, you can go into the practice as much as you want, you can click on any of these areas that your teacher tells you to, and you can practice thousands of questions if you want to to develop your skills, and then you'll have the confidence to go into the assessments and pass it. Good luck with your uh, assessment in MedSafe, and don't hesitate to contact your lecturer if you have any questions. Thank you very much.